2022 was filled with unpredictable twists and turns in terms of economy as well as various markets and industries. And as you know, 2023 is right around the corner, so it's beneficial to think about the major trends that will most likely dominate the year. Today, I'm going to talk about some of the most prominent trends that we here at Doorloop predict will be the most relevant throughout 2023 in industries such as real estate, property management, technology, SaaS, and any industry that is closely related to it. To start, let's look at upcoming real estate trends. Although we may have already seen some of these happening in the past few months, they may begin to become even more significant as we get into the new year. First is a slow rise in inventory. This trend is mainly due to a slowing housing demand because of how difficult it has become to buy a house. For reference, in a healthy market, there's typically around a six month supply of housing inventory. And in today's market, we're seeing around half of that, around three month supply of housing. That means we are currently at around half of what a healthy market looks like. And as mentioned before, the main reason for this is because of the unprecedented mortgage rates that we have been witnessing during this period. So since the mortgage rates are so high, people are skeptical to lose their old lower rates for a much higher one that they will receive if they buy a new house. Second is remote work and commercial real estate. Although remote work is seen by many of us as an amazing opportunity, it's actually been hurting the commercial real estate market. This surge in remote work comes as a product of the pandemic, as companies close their doors and people were obligated to work from home. One of the lingering effects of this shift is the downturn of the commercial real estate market. The U.S. National Bureau of Economic Research estimates that around $453 billion of the commercial real estate market has been wiped due to remote work. This is an incredibly large number and has been detrimental, especially for commercial realtors and developers. In terms of square footage, this number translates to the loss of almost 200 million square feet of office space that is being rented. So prior to the pandemic, about 95% of office space was being rented. And as of 2020, only about 10% of office space is being rented. That's a really big difference. And third is a slow market. As we've seen in the past few years, the real estate market does not slow down for anybody. However, we predict that it will in fact slow down in 2023. This is mainly due to lowering the demand that we talked about earlier. This high demand will likely fall in 2023 due to the sheer difficulty of buying a home. Buying a home has become so difficult because of the brutal combination of low housing inventory, high asking prices, and astronomical mortgage rates. So since houses are difficult to acquire, the demand is likely to go down, which in turn will hopefully bring down interest rates as well. Although these are some of the more popular trends of the real estate market, they are by no means conclusive, nor are they guaranteed as accurate. Next on the list is property technology trends. Property technology, or prop tech, consists of the tools that real estate experts use to optimize various aspects of the industry. This could include various activities such as buying and selling properties, research, advertising rentals, managing rental properties, properties, and much more. I'll explain some of the technologies that are present and emerging in the property management and real estate scene. First is 3D modeling and AR. One of the technologies that has already taken the real estate industry by storm and continues to do so is 3D modeling and AR. 3D technology innovation is becoming a huge deal as realtors are using these advanced designs and plans to compel real estate investors and have them invest in their developments. Since 3D modeling allows the realtors to take clients through a futuristic real estate design that doesn't exist or is somewhere remote. However, there are some drawbacks to 3D modeling in AR, so here's some pros and cons. Starting with the pros, there's exact rendering of the property. It's very easy to make adjustments, and it's typically not very expensive. But some cons are it can be challenging to learn and may have no purpose. Thus, 3D modeling is mainly used for realtors or developers who are trying to visualize a project that has not yet been constructed or is in the planning stages. So it's not very relevant for actual property managers. Second is AI for property management. Similar to every other industry in the world, the property management industry is being heavily bolstered by the use of artificial intelligence. The two main components of AI property management are artificial intelligence technology and property management software. One very important advancement in AI is the ability to learn and interpret natural language. This can be leveraged when making online listings for rental properties, as well as for chatbots and email responses. Since people love responsiveness in websites, having an AI that can respond just like it were a real human being is an effective way to save time and money. Obviously, AI is not perfect and cannot completely replace human conversation. 
yet, but it can definitely reduce the amount of time that representatives spend with leads, especially when answering just simple questions. And third is real estate and the blockchain. Blockchain technology is something that a lot of people have heard of, but few really understand. A blockchain transaction is a digital transaction that is recorded on a public ledger. This ledger is distributed across a network of computers, so it's not controlled by just one central authority. A blockchain transaction is verified by the network of computers, so it's very secure. Now, what does that have to do with real estate? One of the ways that blockchain can and already has begun to revolutionize the real estate industry is by making the process of buying and selling a property much faster and easier. This, along with a more secure way to record ownership of a rental property, is a great way to minimize the risk of fraud and errors. And for buyers, this means that you can track the history of a rental property and its ownership since the blockchain is a public ledger. For sellers, it gives them a chance to provide more transparency around the property, which will increase confidence among buyers. So although we are discussing things that are not exactly about real estate, they are still relevant to the industry. However, to broaden the scope some more, I'm going to talk about general technology trends that we'll be seeing in 2020. So our next category of trends is just technology trends. Technology is currently, and has been for a very long time, revolutionizing the world as we know it. This is why it's so important to keep up with the current and emerging trends in the technology world. Here's three of the most prominent tech trends that we should be seeing become more prominent coming into the new year. Number one, applied observability. Observability is proactively collecting, visualizing, and applying intelligence to all of your metrics, events, logs, and traces so you can understand the behavior of your complex digital system. When working on extremely complex solutions or distributed systems, identifying a broken link or an issue can be extremely difficult without an observability solution. By applying observability, systematically organizations can increase their speed of response and optimize business operations in real time. Gartner, a massive management consulting business, expects that by 2026, 70% of organizations successfully applying observability will achieve shorter latency for decision-making, enabling competitive advantage for target business or IT processes. One of the main benefits of applied observability is that it can lead to almost real-time responses. By having lower response times, we can increase customer satisfaction and loyalty. These shorter feedback loops allow for proactive planning of business decisions based on customers' actions that are positive or negative. Number two is industry cloud platforms. The main thing that an industry cloud platform does is combine software, platform, and infrastructure as a service capabilities to provide specific solutions for different verticals industries. In simpler terms, the industry cloud platform can transform a cloud platform into a business platform. This essentially allows existing tech innovations to also work as a business tool. Already, around 40% of businesses have stated that they have begun adopting industry cloud platforms and another 30% have also responded that they are either in the beginning stages of adopting them or planning in the near future. Using this information, experts expect businesses to accelerate more than 50% of their business initiatives using cloud platforms in the next five years years. However, one of the greatest selling points is that industry cloud platforms appeal to business consumers beyond the early users of cloud infrastructure and platform technologies. And to reach their full potential, industry clouds will need to evolve into something best described as ecosystem clouds. Number three, the metaverse. There are so many ways that the metaverse can affect business and tech in general, so I'm going to be splitting this section into even more subsections covering the metaverse. However, before diving into the metaverse, I want to quickly explain some key aspects about it. The the metaverse encompasses immersive environment using virtual or augmented reality technology. It is always operating in real time and spans virtual and physical worlds as well as multiple platforms. The metaverse is also powered by a virtual economy that is often built on crypto and digital assets. This economy coupled with the capabilities of the metaverse essentially allow people to manufacture their own virtual identities. So now that you know a little bit about the metaverse and what it consists of, let's get into those 2023 trends within the metaverse. Marketing. One of the main trends of the metaverse is it has started to become a huge marketing channel. There are some ways in which the marketing strategies in the metaverse resemble those of the physical world. However, the way that they are implemented is much different. One of the most important things when it comes to metaverse marketing is the why. Why is your brand using the metaverse for marketing? Why do you think your targeted audience will enjoy this marketing or react to it? And is the goal to spark innovation in your marketing strategy? The metaverse essentially allows companies to create their own world. This world represents their brand in a way which no video or ad could ever do. 
Each of these worlds can be unique and create a fully immersive experience for customers. Corporate. Businesses are already using augmented reality and virtual reality to provide experiences for customers and engage them in ways they've never done before. For example, many retailers are figuring out how to offer 3D virtual versions of their products. This is because more and more consumers will be interested in purchasing NFT garments that mirror physical clothing and accessories. Businesses can also add value by incorporating storytelling into their immersive experiences for customers. So since the metaverse is growing so rapidly, experts suggest that businesses begin to prepare to use virtual and augmented reality across their entire business. Web3 and decentralization. Another vision of the metaverse is for it to eventually become a decentralized platform. What exactly does this mean? Being decentralized means it is completely detached from the control of global corporations, which will no longer hold the power to censor anybody. Now, although this sounds almost like a utopia, it can lead to dangerous or violent situations between individuals. NFTs, or non-fungible tokens, are also a growing part of the metaverse, which allows people to buy and sell things in the metaverse. Many brands, like Nike, have already used this tech to create stuff like clothes and accessories that can be purchased and worn virtually. If you've ever seen the movie Ready Player One, this is literally becoming a reality. The last industry we'll be taking a look at for 2023 trends is SaaS. Software as Service, or SaaS, is a way of delivering applications over the internet as a service. This service usually has a monthly subscription and is centrally hosted by some company. That's a very basic definition of SaaS and there is much more to it. However, that's enough for this video and is enough for you to understand how these trends are going to be impactful. So in 2023, we may see low or no code SaaS. According to Gartner, the global demand for technology that allows hyper automation will hit 596.6 billion in 2022. That's up 23% from the previous year. These automation applications are being seen virtually everywhere and we're only going to see more of them. One of the main reasons for this increase in low code development is that IT workers are being pushed to develop even more apps. Since low code solutions are usually faster than coding, they're resorting to using them instead of spending a lot more time in development. This has even sparked a lot of non-IT people beginning to use low code solutions to customize and build their applications. In 2023, one of the main factors for low code adoption would be the necessity in business driven hyper automation. As businesses follow the principles of configurable company, they will shift to low code architectures to enable application growth and development in the long run. In 2023, we may also see SaaS to pass. As more and more businesses move to cloud platforms, they may need custom applications to fit their business needs, which is where PaaS, platform as a service, comes in. SaaS provides companies with immediate and complete service, but their features are meant to be used out of the box and cannot be really customized. On the other hand, PaaS allows companies to build custom applications that live on the cloud. PaaS provides a platform for developers to design and deploy applications without having to worry about certain tasks like load balancing and storage configuration. The focus with this technology is full cycle automation, which is becoming increasingly popular. And another 2023 trend we may see is a data-driven SaaS. One of the most important aspects of successful SaaS business is that they are able to understand their customers, and one of the best ways to do this is with data. Data-driven culture means an environment that derives insights from data to find new business opportunities, grow sales, understand customers, improve customer operations, and serve customers better. This is based on empirical evidence and data points that allows leads to make informed decisions for positive outcomes. One of the greatest benefits of data-driven SaaS is that it uncovers opportunities and drives investments for SaaS companies. This data can also display innovative ideas and insights that help companies chart out new revenue streams. So yeah, 2023 is going to be a very interesting year. Along with an unpredictable real estate market and economy, we are also seeing a continuously evolving technology evolution that is changing the way we do virtually everything. From marketing to development to buying a house, everything is now impacted by technology. It's extremely important to stay up to date with everything that is happening at once. So if this video helped you or got you excited for the new year, or you also want to stay up to date on the 2023 trends, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to stay in the loop. I'll see you guys in the the next one. Bye!